Right, so what's going on guys? I'm Wade here and today I've got a nice little modding tutorial for you. Um, today I'm going to show you how to mod your game score as you well have, well, you should know this, you clicked on the video. So I'm going to show you how to mod your game, um, game score and, and if you want to add games to your profile. Now first of all I'd just like to clarify that this is my video um, well you'll see later but up at the top right obviously you'll see in video mod so I'm not copying this from anyone else not that I'd need to anyway it's not it's not a complicated mod by any means so firstly I just want to clarify that this is you can be banned for this okay so before anything happens I just want to clarify that with you that you can be banned it's not likely as long as you um, do exactly what I do and etc. So basically first of all I would highly recommend doing this mod while offline and obviously the easiest way to do this is just to pull your Ethernet cable out of your Xbox but if you've got a, a new Xbox that that connects that has wireless in it on its own then just make sure you're not connected to the internet um, so that uh, it, it does help reduce the chance of being banned. So first of all you want to put a memory stick if you get you want to get a memory stick you can also do this with the transfer cable but I assume more people have memory sticks than transfer cables I have both but I guess more people have memory sticks so you want to put your memory stick in your Xbox and then go across to settings and then you just want to click on system and then storage and now you can see here I've got my hard drive and memory unit now if you've if you've never used your USB on your Xbox before then it will ask you to configure your USB first. Now, I would not recommend if you've got a large memory stick to configure the whole memory, the whole thing. So if you just press configure, then all of the storage on your USB will only be able to be used on Xbox. You won't be able to use it for anything else. And if you have anything on it that you want to keep, it will be wiped. So when you configure, if it's if it's the same system as it was when I did mine, it was a long time ago now, then then you can choose how much storage you plot give to your Xbox and I'd recommend if you've got a big memory stick then just give it a, like a half a gig or so I gave mine a gig because it's a, it's a 16 gig memory stick and like to be on uh, I don't I don't suppose I'm ever going to be using that full gig but just in case you know but anyway do you want to go on your mem no you, you want to go on your hard drive sorry you want to go gamer profiles and then this is the Game profile I will be moving, uh, modding. So you're going to move that. Uh, you just want to move the profile you want to mod. Yes, and put it onto your memory stick, like so. And that's all of e that's everything on the Xbox done. And obviously you're going to want to li leave your Xbox running. And I will see you on the computer. Right, so now once you've got your U your profile onto your USB, you just want to go ahead and plug your USB into your computer. Now for these three for this these three mods for this mod you will need these three programs. The links to them will be in the description. If you are interested in adding games to your profile to to mod your game score higher, then you'll need this. If you only want to mod the game score for the games you already have, then you'll only need these two games. These two games, these two applications or profiles or whatever you want to call them not profiles you know what I mean so basically if you don't understand what adding games to your profile means if you've only played two games then you only have two games on your profile and say you can only get 1000 G from each game if you mod your game score you'll obviously have 2000 G now if you obviously want a higher G than that then you can add a selection of games to your profile obviously not all 1027 of them and you will get and you'll have more games added to your profile and therefore you will be able to mod your game score higher now another thing I want to mention is that I would, I would seriously suggest you to not mod your game score past 30,000 and that is a, an absolute limit and that's purely because you've got you the higher you go the more chance you get have of getting banned now I know someone who's an absolute achievement whore he I think he was on something ridiculous like 80,000 G he used to literally buy games get full achievements on them and sell it and then buy a new game and get full achievements on it and sell it and um, Microsoft actually banned his account because they thought he was modding his game score and he wasn't and ne they never gave it to him back because they thought he because um, he, he had no proof that he didn't mod it which is ridiculous but so 
that's just a nice word of warning. You can mod past it if you want, but I would not suggest to. So if you've um, so yeah, once you've put your USB into your pro onto your computer, you just want to go ahead and open up Modio. Now Modio is a really good program. It's a pretty good modding program. It's got quite a lot of different things you can do. Like it's got loads of different game saves you can mod. Obviously, this is not online, and it's only like for Modern Warfare 2. It's only the campaign and stuff. Um, it's quite easy to use, but I'll do videos for some of them, like maybe Fallout 3. I just Fallout 3 and Gears 2 and GTA 4 and Prototype. I don't think I have that anymore. Actually, I'm not sure. Can't remember if I sold it or not. But anyway, so. I'd, I'd advise using Modio, it's a really good program, like you've got an avatar colour changer I'll, ma I'll make a video of explaining how to, u um, uh, how to use it I think I use a different program to mod avatar colour actually because it's easier but Gamer Picture Pack Creator, again I'll make a video showing that ISO Explorer, you don't, don't worry about that and Theme Creator which I'm not sure if that works or not on the new dashboard update but whatever so for today you just want to go ahead and click Explore Device Oh, I already have it open. Yeah, let's cl let's close that so you can see what happens. So you click Explore Device, and then you want to click File, Open Close Drive, and then it comes up with content of your USB. So you want to click the plus. Now I don't know what's going on here, but this, but when you move your profile, it should come up with your gamer tag and then the code for your profile. So there, obviously, we've got Nvidia's mods, and then you want to click the plus, the plus again, and then click Profiles, and then that's your gamer profile there and you just want to drag that to your desktop like so and then minimize the device explorer and minimize modio so here we've got my my profile or in your case yours and then you just want to go ahead and open up the fluffy now the fluffy comes in this folder and do not delete or move or do anything with it um, because these are all the plugins these are all the components and the extent application extensions that allow the fluffy to work so don't change any of these or delete any of these otherwise it will break now the game the little picture icon thing for the fluffy actually changes like a second ago when I opened it it had my HD PVR software um, little emblem there now it's got my dazzle DVC 100 uh, software icon there I've seen Google Chrome little icon there before but don't worry it's just the one that says the fluffy and when you click on it down here it says the fluffy application and that's the one you want so once it's open it looks like this and you just want to go ahead and drag your profile into the fluffy and here you'll see your gamer picture and over here it will tell you your gamer tag now you cannot mod your gamer tag here don't worry about that don't even try and mod your gamer tag anymore um, so here obviously you can see I've not played any games on this account now this is this is obviously where I show you how to add games to your profile and obviously to do that you want to have downloaded those 1027 GPDs obviously don't add them all you only want to add a, a little selection of them now I just want to say uh, unfortunately you can't actually tell what game you are adding to your profile it just tells you the GPD of the game so you can't until you've actually opened them up in the fluffy you can't tell what games you're adding but oh didn't mean that. I'm just going to go ahead and open these, I don't know what, six or seven. And I've got Virtua Fighter, Condemned 2, Universe at Work, Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, Beijing 2008. But yeah, so once you've opened this little group of them, you just want to go ahead and click OK. And then if you're adding games to your profile, you just want to click on each one separately so that it loads it up properly, like this because sometimes it just doesn't work when you don't do that and now obviously you just want to go ahead and click unlock all and it says done and there you can see that I've got a thousand G from each one I believe yeah and there you can see it says my game score is 7000 and now you ha we'll want to go ahead and click, click security and if you click verify you can see that quite a lot of these datas are false now I don't well there you go. I don't expect you to understand what that means, but if you click fix and then click verify again, as you can see they're now all true. And that means that your profile has not corrupted. So now you're done. You just want to go ahead and close that and then close the fluffy. And now this profile is modded. So you want to go back in Modio and you want to click open a save. And this is basically just to 
uh, further ensure that your oh I opened Modio. This is basically just to fur further ensure that your profile has not corrupted. So you want to click open a save, go to your desktop, and then go to your uh, to your profile and open it up. And it will come up here with your go gamer tag here and your gamer picture here. And then you just want to click rehash and resign. And then once it says Xbox 360 dashboard here, that means it's finished and you can just close it. Now you just want to go back into Xbox 360 Device Explorer and drag it back in. And then just click yes overwrite it. And there you are done on the computer and I will see you back on the Xbox to prove that it worked. Right, so now we're back on the Xbox, I just want to show you that the mod did in fact work. You want to go back over to settings, go into system, storage, and then into your USB. Go into gamer profiles and move your gamer profile back over to your Xbox, like so. And then back out. Now, sign you back in and there you see it's gone from 0 up to 7000G and if I click on this and go to achievements, achievements you'll see that it's the Sega Star Superstar Tennis wait, Sega Superstar Tennis Beijing 2008, Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, Universe at War Condemned 2 Bloodshot and Virtua Fighter which were all the, which were all the games that I, up, um, that I added to my profile and there you go, there's, there's proof for you and I hope this helped guys and just keep in mind that you can be banned for this but if you keep to all the uh, to everything I've said in this video you should be fine and just remember to stay offline while you're doing this mod so I hope you enjoyed the video today guys and I hope it helped and stay tuned for my next modding tutorial as I will be doing more and Thank you guys. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Peace.